Hello guys and girls, my name is Zephyr here, welcome back to another Pokemon Showdown session. Now today, as you can, well, I almost didn't read by the title, but I didn't even put it in the title. Today, the Showdown team is, um, what's the word, what's the word, what's the word? Themed! <laughs> I don't know why I was brain farting there. But this team is basically themed off of M Pokemon MVPs from ABL Season 1. I don't know why I felt like doing this, but I thought it would be a cool idea, and I think you guys would enjoy it. And as you can see, it's just not from my team. This is from just the league in general. So let's get into my team here. Now you knew. I couldn't make an ABL team, MVP team, without uh, having Grace on there. So she is back in here for the showdown session. Hold on leftovers, Marvel Scale, Skull to recover, Toxic and Haze, Max HP, Max Defense, Force Special Defense with a Careful Nature, and our calm nature. I don't know why she's careful. And we have Brute the Mega Pincer. I wanted to use Mega Pincer. I really wanted to use Mega Medicham. I really did, but I never used Mega Pincer before. And I thought I'd give it a shot here. So we have Sword Stance, Return, Quick Attack, Close Combat, Max Attack, Force Special Defense, and Max Speed, Jolly Nature. And then we have Holes uh, from Explode Emps Teams, California Earth Rings with Life Orb, Sam Rush, Earthquake, Rapid Spin, Iron Head, and Rock Slide with Max Attack, for Defense. Max speed with an adamant nature. And then we have King Tut from uh, the Richmond Spinner Axe. The Coffer Grievous. Hex with Lewis Toxic Spikes and Pain Split with Max HP. Foreign Special Attack. Let me change this quick to Defense. Okay. Foreign Defense. Max Special Defense with a Calm Nature. And then we have MP3 from the California Earth Rings with the Porygon 2 with Holden Evil Light. Download. Tri Attack Recover. Thunder Wave and Ice Beam with Max HP. Foreign defense and max special defense. And then we have mixtape the Noivern from my team, Toronto Weavals, with choice specs, Draco Meteor, Air Slash, Flamethrower, Focus Blast, with max special attack, four special defense, max beat with the Demon Nature. Ooh. Okay, so we're gonna hop into this right away. Let me exit out of this. Oh, I apologize, there was no layout for this battle. I did not have any time to make one, but don't you worry. Next battle. Um, with this team, there will be a layout. I was going to use my ABL. Um, okay then. <laughs> but like I was saying, I was going to use my ABL uh, Toronto Weavile's layout that I had during the series, but unfortunately, I didn't get that. So I don't know what this guy wants to do here. He's probably going to Sword Dance. This might kill. Why didn't I click Air Slash? That's that. Whatever, that killed anyway. <laughs> okay, whatever. Oh. The reason I didn't have a layout for this episode is because I did not have time to make one. Is that because, I'm going to give you a little sneak peek here, but first let's read off this guy's team. He's got Greninja, hopefully it's not Ash Greninja, Garchomp, probably Mega Beedrill, Tapu Lele, Celestia, and Excadrill. So a very threatening team. I see Excadrill lead, get up Rock, same thing with Garchomp. Uh, maybe Greninja lead, or U-turn out. Um... Do I have any U-turns or full switches? I don't think I do. No. I think leading with King Tut here looks pretty safe, except if he leaves with Akron Ninja, that could be pretty problematic. Mm. I'm gonna lead with Noivern, because he hit a lot of things pretty hard, except for that type of Lele. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna leave with Noivern. And he leaves with the Celesteal. I'm going to flamethrower this thing because it's annoying. Bulky Pokemon. But like I was saying before, the reason why I did not have time to make a layout is because I'm involved. I'm getting involved in another league. with, And the only person from the ABL that is in it is Trevor. So it's just going to be me and him. So it'll be a new series. I'm spoiling already. <laughs> but... Okay, so this is that. He's probably going to switch out here because he doesn't want his Celestial to die so early. Um, so Garchomp's probably going to come out. So I think I'm going to predict that and go into Porygon 2 because we can Ice Beam it. Yeah, I'm going to do that. We can also clear away Leech Seed. Here's all in the Garchomp. Okay, so I knew that was coming out. I can't T-Wave this, unfortunately, so I just got to click Ice Beam. Do I think he's going to switch out? Probably not because I think he wants to get as much damage on this Porygon 2 as possible. So yeah, this Ice Beam is going to kill him. Plus two special attack is times for effective. Oh, it doesn't kill. Oh my god. Garchomp, you're amazing. But I think he's going to switch here. So I'm going to click Tri-Attack. 
or woody switch here i'm gonna click it anyway it's stab and more plus one special attack that's not he's gonna click eq again i probably should have clicked recovered but that stinks so this thing's out here um what switches into this thing excadrill but i don't really want to get drilled um I think I just have to sack off Porygon 2 here and bring in Noivern safely or beat or Mega Pinsir. Unfortunately, as, as useful as this Pokemon would be, I think I just gotta sack it off here. Because we don't need Ice Beam, Ice Beam really for Garchomp because it's gone. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna click Thunder Wave on the off chance he wants the Sword Dance. Because he's gonna click Knock Off here. We live that and we're gonna get the T Wave off. That is huge. That is huge. But because we have no Eviolite, I'm just gonna sack this thing off anyway. Because that was my original plan anyway. So I'm just going to go try attack Get as much damage on this thing as possible. And then bring in Mega Pinsir in safely. And return. He's going to get Paraxed. Is this, how much is this going to do? A lot. Beedrill is a glass cannon. Oh. Oh my god. You got Paraxed so hard. Oh, I feel bad for that guy. <laughs> oh. Poor dude. Poor guy. Oh well. That's the game we decided to play, Pokemon. It's it's part of the game, but we choose to play it anyway, competitively, at that, at a competitive level. Um, he's probably gonna if his best play if it's Ask Greninja. No, I was gonna say if it's Ask Greninja, he could send in that and get a free, um, Battle Bomb boost or not Battle Bomb boost, just evolution or whatever it's called. I'm gonna Thunder Wave this thing too. What if he calm lines here? No, he's just gonna psychic. Um, as much as I was going, I much as I would love to go in the Mega Pinsir and hit this thing with our damage. Um, let me actually find out how much a return does to Hot Tapu Lele. I want to find out because if it does a lot of damage, then I'll go just go into that, and then we can quick attack. If it's a like to a go and it leaves him on ninety percent, that this this thing will load in fast enough. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. So, Pinsir. Oh, you Sword Zance. And Lele. Uh, we'll say Stall Breaker. Return is an Oko, actually. Okay, so I can just go into that and click Return. So, there we go. Brood is here. Um, if he wants to switch in Celesteal, that thing is at 39% health anyway, plus it's burned, so I'm just gonna click it. And if he brings an extra drill, I'm gonna that should do a decent amount of extra drill too. Extra drill too. So this should kill. Oh, he's choice scarf, but we live. There we go, that kills. So he was choice scarf to Lele. I don't want to get a free battle bomb boost off here. So I think my best play is going to Milotic. Uh, Mega Pinsir can still be useful with close combat and extra drill. I doubt it's going to be Scarf since Lalo was a Scarfer. So I'm going to go into my Lodic. And he's going to click Water Trick and we eat that. Or the Psychic Terrain will stop. <laughs> um, I, I'm i not going to click Toxic because he has two Steel types. I was going to say if he brings in Celesteal, I'm not going to click Toxic, but then I remember it extra drills around. Um, I'm just gonna click Scald and try and fish for a burn on anything really. Well, this thing's already burned, so that was probably his best play. I click Scald, it's 25%, and the next one kills. So that's good. I'm gonna click Scald again, that kills, so still goes down. My Lodic is a beast. <laughs> uh, actually, girl, he's gonna bring in Greninja, actually. Um, I think I just wanna Toxic this thing, really. Do I? No, there's no point. I'm just gonna scald. Dark Pulse, we eat it. We eat it, we eat it. My Lord is so bulky. Can we get the burn? There's the burn! There we go. We have to be careful though, because I don't want to get my Lord too low, even though we have recover, because I don't want him to get Battle Bomb Boost and become Ash Greninja. He's not Protean because he didn't get any uh, stab boosts. So I'm gonna click recover here. Dark Pulse, hopefully he doesn't crit me. Nope. And we recover. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. I'm um, just gonna click recover again, get it almost at full. And either way, we're just stalling his burn. So, either way, we win because we have a Mega Pinsir with close combat and quick attack. 
So if my Lodic does go down here, we can just revenge kill with Mega Pinsir because Quick Attack will probably kill his Greninja from this range. Either way. So that's that. And plus we can close combat the extra drill. And if that doesn't kill us, it will do a heck of a lot of damage. So he's gonna click Dark Pulse again. No reason for him not to. Is this burn gonna kill? No, it only does 7%. Yeah, 7%. Uh the next Dark Pulse doesn't kill as long as it doesn't crit, so I'm just gonna click Scald again. No point in recovering yet, we live. Okay, burn kills him. <laughs> I was gonna say. So extra drill comes in. I'm just gonna stay in, let my loaded go down here. And we can bring a Mega Pincer in and scald. Iron Head, yeah, that kills us. Uh, Mega Pincer comes in. Actually, do we gonna go into, do we wanna go into my extra drill? <laughs> extra drill versus extra drill? I mean either way we win because we have a noise room with flamethrower too. But I'm gonna go into Mega Pincer and close combat. I'm actually, does this actually kill? I'm. Might sound stupid if it doesn't. Um, we'll say he is offensive spinner, close combat. Oh, cool. yeah, I thought so. So just click that. He's not scarf, and there we go. That's the game. G G. Ah, oh, we die to the rocky helmet. <laughs> it's okay. Mega Pincer lives. I was gonna say GG, but he left already. But if you guys enjoyed this Pokemon Showdown battle. And make sure to click the like button down below. But I'm gonna get the heck out of here. I'll see you guys later.